elements are the building blocks of matter. The smallest particle of an element that still retains the identity of that element is the atom. All atoms of a given element are identical to one another. The man who devised the method of classifying these building blocks of matter, elements, was Dmitri Mendeleev. Dissatisfied with textbooks of his time, Mendeleev decided to write his own book. His textbook, written between 1868 and 1870, would provide a framework for modern chemistry's periodic table of the elements. In 1896, a French physicist named Henri Becquerel accidentally discovered radioactivity. His investigations of the properties of fluorescent minerals led to the discovery of radiation. The mineral he worked with was called uranium. Uranium was called a radioactive substance because it is an element that has no stable naturally occurring isotope. Uranium, element number 92, is shown on a modern periodic table. Henry Becquerel did not pursue his discovery of radioactivity. However, two of his lab members, Marie and Pierre Curie, did pursue this discovery and embarked on a lifelong study of radioactivity. In 1898, the Curies discovered two other radioactive elements, polonium, element 84, and radium, element 88. They named polonium after Marie Curie's native country of Poland. In the title of a paper describing the element polonium, the Curies introduced the term radioactive to the world. The joint researches by the Curies and Henry Becquerel on the discovery of radiation phenomena would lead to the joint awarding of a Nobel Prize in 1903 in the field of physics. Here is a certificate for the Curies 1903 Nobel Prize for Physics. The shared fame of the husband and wife scientific duo sadly would not last much longer after the awarding of the Nobel Prize. While crossing a busy street in Paris on a rainy day, Pierre Curie was run over by a horse-drawn wagon weighing over six tons. He was killed instantly. After Pierre's funeral, Marie Curie would return to work. She said, Crushed by the blow, I did not feel able to face the future. I could not forget, however, what my husband used to say, that even deprived of him, I ought to continue my work. Indeed, she did continue her work, taking up Pierre's academic posts at the Sorbonne Institute in France. Marie Curie's research would intensify, and the need for more space to conduct research was needed. An institute the Radium Institute, was established. It was here that Marie Curie would be awarded the 1911 Nobel Prize in Chemistry in recognition of her services to the advancement of chemistry by the discovery of the elements radium and polonium, by the isolation of radium, and the study of the nature and compounds of this remarkable element. However, Marie Curie was a lone woman among a male-dominated discipline of science. At the time of Marie Curie's research, the damaging effects of radiation were unknown. Although her death is said to be caused by anemia, one can be certain that this was contracted from her exposure to radiation. Flash forward 75 years later to modern day Paris. Away from the city,
the bustling crowd and the sidewalk cafes on a side street in Paris is the present home of the Radium Institute founded by Marie Curie. Under her direction, the Radium Institute in Paris became a world center for the study of radioactivity. The laboratory, of course, has been reconstructed and decontaminated as it was too radioactive for safe occupancy. The layout, however, is a replica of the way it was when Marie Curie worked there. Seen here is a replica of the Nobel Prize winning experiment used by the Curies when they discovered polonium. This exhibit shows the many uses of radioactive elements in Marie Curie's time. Take a look at some of the instruments that Marie Curie used to perform her scientific research. As one of the most famous scientists to date, Marie Curie has been an icon in the scientific world and has inspired many tributes and legends. Marie Curie's face has appeared on European coins, French franc notes, Polish banknotes, in addition to European stamps. The discovery of these elements had not only revolutionized scientific understanding of the nature of an atom, but it also opened up new areas of medicine. In medicine, the radioactivity of radium appeared to offer a means by which cancer could be successfully attacked. In the words of Marie Curie, nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. <laughs>